let's go back to our four power plants and see what an auction will do for us. Suppose let's pick um, let's pick a certain level of demand. Uh, let's go for 200, 250. I'm gonna go get my pencil here. Let's go for 250 megawatt hours. So our procurement auction is for 250 megawatt hours of electricity. Uh, we're going to hold a uniform price still bid auction for this period, this five minute period during the day. And let's see what people's incentives are. So if we held this auction and everyone bid their marginal cost, we'd have the the renewables, the solar generators, bidding exactly zero. And that's okay because they're not going to get zero. The solar bidders can bid zero because that's their marginal cost, knowing that they're going to be paid the, co the marginal cost of the very most expensive source brought into service that day. So it's okay to bid zero when you're a solar generator. You'll always be accepted, you'll always run, and you'll get whatever scarcity rents are available at the price that actually results in the auction. So the solar generator can go ahead and bid zero and expect to run and expect to make money. How about base load? Base load has a good forecast of electricity demand for the day. They know that some peakers are probably going to come online, so base load can feel free to bid marginal cost. Notice if base load tried to fudge and bid higher, it might be that the bid is so high that it's not in the money and will be rejected in the auction. So if the if base load says I don't want to bid just my marginal cost. I want to make more than that, so I'm going to bid higher so that when the price goes up higher, I'm going to make more money. In a uniform price auction, that logic just doesn't work. Partly because if the bid goes higher than the marginal cost of the peaker unit that is run, then baseload's bid wouldn't be accepted and baseload wouldn't run even though it would have been really profitable to run the plant. So a bid above marginal cost hasn't done baseload any good and in fact has put baseload at risk of not having his profitable bid accepted in the auction. So the incentive is to, go, to not try to manipulate the market with a bidding strategy but rather to bid marginal cost. This is a little bit hard for people to get used to, especially people who are used to negotiating over goods. Negotiating with a vendor over a good is like a dis discriminatory price auction. When you're negotiating with a vendor over goods, that's a pay-as-bid situation. You make an offer to buy a good or to sell a good, then that's around what you're going to get for it. This is not a uniform price type of encounter. So in our daily lives we have a lot of discriminatory price bargaining and so we tend to think of wanting to bid higher than our true value to signal to our opponent in our bargaining that we're not willing to accept anything lower. But in a uniform price auction it doesn't benefit you to do that. There's no benefit to bidding lower than your actual marginal cost. And what about peaker? So, if we look at peaker's response, what if peaker, we have a, a, a number of peaker units here, and we're going to run some of the peakers. Suppose there are three or four peaker units here that make up our 100 megawatt hours, and we're going to pick from among them any peaker unit that bid above their marginal cost would not be accepted. 
Right? This is really important. So if we have several peaker units here and one of them decides to be tricky and bid higher than their marginal cost, wouldn't get accepted. Right? And so it's, uh, it's a, a dominant strategy for the bidders in this market to bid their actual marginal costs. And this is going to be true if demand is higher. If we had demand, suppose, let's, let's draw another uh, demand curve here. Let's get rid of this demand curve for a minute. And I'll draw another one. Suppose that our demand is really like this. So this is a high level of demand. We're running our peaker units. The price is just above the the price would be just above the marginal cost of operating the last peaker unit. So a peaker unit that decided to be tricky and bid higher, say closer to levelized cost of energy, um, would lose out on the bid, would not be accepted, and would lose a profitable opportunity for production. It's again, this is a little hard to get used to when most of us are uh, used to thinking about trading in a discriminatory price context where we're bargaining with people over goods. This is not the case. This is many sellers who are being compensated at a uniform price. And for all of these sellers, it's optimal to bid at the marginal cost of production.